Okay, Cooper Cronk is to retire at the end of this season. He's had a stellar career. Uh, he's won everything there is to win in the game, bar the Super League and Challenge Cup, by virtue of the fact that he never played over here in Europe, in the Super League. Um, had he done so, I have no doubt in my mind that he would have absolutely lifted a Super League trophy and, and a Challenge Cup. He's that kind of talented player that can motivate a team and, and make a team better. Look how he, he talks to his teammates, especially the young players around him. He is coaching on the field. And that is why I think he will stay involved in the sport post his playing retirement. I do think the salary cap has possibly weighed on the Roosters' mind to offer him another contract post the end of this season. But that injury he sustained last year to his shoulder and the fact that he played the grand final last year with a broken shoulder blade and had to have really serious uh, surgery in the off-season to pin it, repair it, and, and you know, he had to have a bit of a fair bit of rehabilitation. He wasn't fully fit to start the season. He had limited minutes. He's now getting the full minutes now. Um, but the wear and tear in his body, I think, has had an impact as well. That shoulder injury must be in the back of his mind. Another serious injury. That's his. That's curtains anyway at this stage of his career. But he's had a stellar career, uh, and I can see him being involved in a in a coaching capacity, a, a an ambassador capacity, uh, maybe even working for the NRL. Um, in a various capacity. I can see him still being involved in the sport post-retirement at the end of his playing days. He's put his heart and soul into this sport since the age of 18. He was a rugby union youth player and he swapped, he switched codes um, when he was 18. And that is rugby union's loss because I have no doubt in my mind he would have been a great scrum or fly half. He really would have. I think he would have challenged Will Genia and, 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 and you know, Larkham and Gregan and those who are more experienced players, I think he had, had no doubt. I have no doubt he would have definitely challenged them for a position in the Wallabies side in the last 15, 20 years. Absolutely. Had he carried on playing Union. But Rugby League picked him up and and created the player that we see today. The, you know, I think he's the only player to win back to back grand finals with two different clubs. Uh, he obviously is 2017 with the Storm, 2018 with the Roosters. I don't think any other player has done that, but I could be wrong. Um, and he he's a he's a coach on the field. You can see him with younger players around him, him barking instructions, you know, giving them advice, pointing out where he wants them to go. He's really a very vocal player, and that's why I think I I can see a coaching role for him at some at some capacity, be it an assistant coach, a back a backs coach, a tactician coach, kind a fitness coach, some kind of coaching capacity. He will be involved in the NRL going forward, um, and. Uh, Hats off to the man for like you know playing the grand final last year with a with a broken shoulder blade that you know an injury that could have ended anyone's career uh, and you know he is lucky that he came back for this second season. It's a shame that he doesn't want to continue for another year, but at the same time there is never any perfect time to retire. Uh, but at least he's retiring on his terms. And if the Roosters can win a minor premiership and get to the grand final and win that, that would be a fairy tale ending for Cooper Cronk's career. But regardless where the Roosters finish this season, he's had a, he's had a, an impact on this club in a very short spell of time. He's been there, and of course, what he did with the Melbourne Storm as well cannot be ignored. He's a superstar player, and he's that's going to be a big void to fill for Australian Rugby League when Cooper Cronk retires. So we've got a few more months of him yet. It would be really fitting if he could go out winning the grand final in his last game. But we'll have to see what happens at the end of the season. For now, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.